Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisteredNurseRN.com and today in this teaching series, we're gonna go over the cell function and structure. In your anatomy and physiology class, you'll be required to know how to label the structure of a cell and what each function is. In this video, I'm gonna give you a quick overview and help refresh your memory of what you need to know for your AMP exam. Also, after this video, go to my website, registerednursrn.com, and go to the quizzes page and take the test on the cell structure. I will ask you all these types of questions on what function of each structure does, and these are probably the same type of questions that you'll be encountering on your AMP exam. So be sure to take that. So let's get started. Behind me, I have what a typical cell looks like. This cell is what's normally in the human body. Your body is made up of 50 to 100 trillion of these little things. Your cells are responsible for destroying invaders, replicating themselves, maintaining integrity and shape. And each of these little subunits in this cell are called organelles and they're responsible for doing this. So let's go over what each part of the subunits do. Then after this part, I'll go over a couple quiz questions and then jump by my website, registerednursrn.com and finish taking the whole quiz and see how well you grasp this material that we went over. Okay, let's get started. Your human cell is made up of three parts. You have the plasmon membrane, the cytoplasm, and then you have the nucleolus. So these are three structures that make up the whole cell. The plasma membrane is your outer boundary of the cell. Your cytoplasm is found internally from the plasma membrane, which is called the cell and surrounds the nucleus. And then the nucleus is your control center that contains cell activities and it's found near the enter of the cell. So that's what this big drawing is. Now let's go over all of these little subunits because they all have little jobs that help this cell work. First, let's go over the chromatin. The chromatin is responsible for packaging DNA into a smaller volume to fit inside the cell, and it reinforces mitosis, prevents DNA damage, and controls DNA replication. So that is the little areas inside this nucleus. Next, we're gonna go over to the, nucleo the nucle nucleolus. This is this middle big center inside of the nucleus. This serves as a site for ribosome synthesis and assembly. So here are your ribosomes. They are these little black and blue dots everywhere. And we'll go over what a ribosome here does here in a second. Um, your glycosomes, this right here, these are what are called sugar containing bodies. They store sugar in the form of glycogen for the cell's main energy source. So this is how the cell gets its energy and it's another word for glycogen, so it's your glycosomes. Next, right above that is your smooth endoplastic reticulum and also you have rough endoplastic reticulum. But first let's go over the smooth. The smooth endoplastic reticulum is responsible for lipid metabolism, which, in other words, breaks down and uses fats. Then next, we have our cytosol. The cytosol is a fluid material that's all in this area, and it serves as what is the liquid that's found inside of the cell. Next, we have lysosome. Your lysosome performs intracellular digestion. Easy way to remember this is Lysol, and whenever you spray the Lysol disinfectant, it eats away any germs. So that's what a lysosome does, it eats away germs. Next is your mitochondria. It is found right here and right there. This um, always is a test question, I remember it. It's the powerhouse of the cell, always remember that. This is where your energy is generated so the cell can carry out its work. Next, you have the centrioles, which is about in the middle of the mitochondria. I like to think of the center, centrioles. And then around the centrioles, you have this cloud-like matrix, which is your centriome matrix. But back to the centrioles. The centrioles is found inside this matrix, and its main function is to produce aster and spindle during cell division. So they help with cell division. Then the matrix is just around it, and it serves as a little cloud protein around the centrioles. Next is your microvilla. Look at these. See how they protrude out? They're finger-like. 
That's another test question. Because in the test, they'll ask you the shape of the little subunit. And these have finger-like, tiny little finger-like areas that help support the cell and it helps increase cell surface area. So think of little fingers going along, increasing surface area. So that's your microvilla. And in your microvilla, see these little blue little lines? These are called microfilaments. These microfilaments help form um, and help with intercellular movement. So you have the microvilla, which are increasing surface area, and then the microfilament, which is found in the microvilla, help with intercellular movement. Then right above where your centriole matrix and your centrioles were located, you have these little tubes coming out. These tubes are called microtubules. This gives the cell its shape and support and forms the centrioles. That's why it's found around the centrioles. Next, we have intermittent um, filaments. The intermittent filaments are found throughout the cell, you'll find them in the plasma membrane, the cytoplasm, and all the intermittent filaments do is it's a cytoskeletal element that helps the cell resist any tension. So if that cell gets tension on it, say it gets squished or something like that, this intermittent filament is going to come in and help prevent that tension from collapsing the cell. Next you have the peroxisome. An easy way, I remember this little proxosome is through the product peroxide. Now a proxosome contains enzymes, and this is usually a test question, it contains enzymes such as oxidase and catalase, and it's used to de de detoxify cells from free radicals. So free radicals are bad things like cancer, anything, an invader that's coming in, and this little proxosome will go and take it and destroy it. So think of peroxide. Whenever you have a wound or anything, you people use peroxide on their wound and that helps destroy any bacteria. So that's how I remember what a peroxisome does. Next is the Golgi apparatus. Say that 10 times fast, that's a word and a half. The Golgi apparatus is this little green thing here, and it is a stack of three to 10 little envelope shapes, and its membrane supports processes, packages, uh, proteins, and membranes. Next, um, you have the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Remember, we went over the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, and remember, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum was um, responsible for metabolizing lipids, which are fats, but your endoplasmic reticulum is responsible for the cell's membrane. So this helps with make the cell's membrane. Next, you have ribosomes. These little ribosomes are found throughout your smooth, I mean your rough endoreticulum and your Golgi apparatus. And what your ribosomes are, they are the site of protein synthesis, which are small, dark, so notice that they're small and dark, containing structures that construct proteins plus RNA. So super important, usually a test question. You, they wanna know what they look like, and what protein they use. So they are dark and small, staining, and they have to do with RNA. And we already went over our plasma membrane, but we'll go over it again. It's the outer layer, and it's a flexible membrane layer that defines the cell and helps separ separate the two major fluid components of this cell called the intracellular and extracellular fluid. Then you have the nucleus. This is this whole little thing right here. And the nucleus, another test question, this is the control center, or the kernel as they say, which is in control of the whole cell. And it is, its genetic material is DNA. So ribosomes are responsible for the RNA, and your nucleus ge genetic material is the DNA. Next, we have the nuclear envelope. This is this little green thing that's just enveloping the whole nucleus. And what it does is it surrounds the nucleus and helps regulate passage of substances to and from the nucleus. So there, really quick and down and dirty, is your whole cell and what it does as its function and structure. Now let's go over a couple of quiz questions. Okay, let's go over a quiz question. Remember, after these quiz questions, you can go to my website, registernursrn.com, and take the whole quiz for free to test your knowledge on the cell structure and function. So let's go over this question. It says, what part of the cell is responsible for disposal of waste, key phrase, shape and integrity, and replication? 
Now this is multiple choice and you have the following answers to choose from. A, is it organelles? B, enzymes? C, plasma membrane? Or D, phagocytosis? Now remember, at the beginning of the video, I was talking about this. I was saying that the cell has subunits, and these subunits work together to dispose of waste, to maintain shape and integrity, and to do replication. And the answer to this question is A, organelles. The organelles are all these little structures that are called subunits that work together to do those three tasks. So a fancy name for subunits, which is part of the cell, is organelles. Now let's go to our next question. Okay, next question. Ribosomes have the appearance of blank and are constructed of blank. So we're talking about ribosomes. Remember, ribosomes were these little dark things that were up here found in the rough endo endoplastic reticulum and in your Golgi apparatus. So you got to think back to that. So let's look at our options. We have A, are they small, dark staining, and they are constructed of RNA? Or are they B, large, dark staining and constructed of DNA? Or are they C, finger-like extensions constructed of lysosomes? Or is it none of the above? So let's think about this for a second. Looking at this, we know that they're small, so we know it's not large. So we're gonna rule out B. They are not large, they're small. And we have to remember, was a ribosome's genetic material RNA or DNA? It was RNA. RNA, how do you remember that? Ribosome starts with R, so R, RNA. Remember, DNA was found in your nucleolus. That was where your genetic material for DNA was. And finger-like extensions, remember, that was your microvilla. The microvilla helps the cell increase its surface area just think of little fingers scooting across attached to the cell and helps the cell move along which increases its surface area that's how i remember that so we know that that's not the option and none of the above that's not it either so the answer is a so it would read ribosomes have the appearance of small dark staining um or appearance of small dark staining and they are constructed of rna ribosomes means has R, so RNA. So that was the answer to that one. Now go to my website, registernursern.com. A link should pop up somewhere in this video. And go and take the quiz and test your knowledge on how you know the cell structure and function. And I hope you ace your anatomy and physiology test. And be sure to check out my other teaching tutorials. I have a lot of other videos on anatomy and physiology, NCLEX for you nursing students out there, personality quizzes, everything. So thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe, subscribe to this YouTube channel channel.